Ooh, I can't tell you how long I've waited for this. My place or yours? <laughs> So what is going on beautiful people, Baseblade back at you with the Blackout Beta. Now this gameplay is going to be from my very first game. Uh, I have played obviously after this but I thought I'd give you my very first example on playing the game and just seeing exactly what it's like. Now I've got to say I am super impressed with this because it's the first time that they've actually tried anything like this and it runs smoothly. Yes, I know a lot of people have compared it to PUBG looking, which to be fair it is, you cannot compare it really to a Fortnite, because everybody thought it was might have been a Fortnite killer, but they are completely separate and different playing games. One is, like I say, a PUBG lookalike, I mean, even the map layout and the way the weapons are looks very, very similar, and the other one is a dog shit. But, as you all know, I've played my fair bit of Fortnite and uh, there's only reason I've never really posted anything because really it was for, for the views, but yeah, I mean, this it does run smooth, it is near enough like PUBG, as you can see from the rest of the bar, even from the third person view, it's a rather the shoulder, picking up things off the floor which is something that really they could do with change. I mean, you could just do a running over them to pick them up. Because there's been a few times when I've been playing this when I've gone to look at something to pick it up off the floor and somebody's just come behind me and shot me dead. And to be fair, that is damn annoying when really you could just do a running over stuff to pick it up. But hey ho, and as you can see on my first time, went straight to Nuketown Island. And uh, yeah, I mean, the gliding system works fine and the parachuting is okay, it's not too bad. And you can see graphically it's it's quite sound, it's it's really nice, but this is what I mean look looking down at the floor all the time. You need to see be able to see what's in front of you. And some of these weapons are massively overpowered as well. And luckily I found a bunker. Granted lost some health there, but You've got to be able to get down there, which is a bit strange, but hey ho. So yeah, we'll just let this play out, see what the crack is with it, and uh, obviously you can form your own opinions on whether or not it's okay. But what else has been going on this week? Now, Spider-Man. I have been playing a hell out a lot of the Spider new Spider-Man game because I, I did like the Batman Arkham one, which to be fair I am still roughly playing, but the Spider-Man game is just, wow. I will put some videos up about that as well, I promise. But crying out loud, yeah. I, w I would highly recommend it. Even if you just get the base game and not the digital deluxe one, you don't need don't need the extra skill points. Because every every skill point you need it is there. And it's it's just really where well. I mean the, the, it's fluid. I mean I did find a little bit of a uh, a hiccup with it uh, when you're swinging through and you try and do some of your tricks which you can unlock to earn extra XP uh, if you don't land correctly you sort of hover in midair which is a little bit strange but it doesn't last that long and it's not something that really should bother you but it's not too bad and also towards the end there seems to be a bit of a costume mess but hopefully you'll see that uh, in one of my videos later on. Uh, what else is new? I mean, Nintendo Direct just uh, dropped some bombshells. Isabel, if you ever play Animal Crossing, is getting into the Smash. Looking sort of like an Echo, but not. And if you don't know, an Echo character is one that's very similar, uh, if not the same moveset to a previous character just in a different skin uh, she does play sort of like the villager with the sort of the villagers moves but not I mean not, not sure how many people will take that up but we'll find out and of course 
and new Animal Crossing, which is something I am super excited about because I do like the Animal Crossing series and the Animal Crossing games. They are a lot of fun. If not, I know they can be repetitive and a bit, uh, but working for Mr. Tom Nook, it is it is quite fun building your own little village and your own little town and, and whatnot. But really, not much about that. Just that it's coming next year. Uh, what else was there? Oh, of course, and for Nintendo again, a hell of a lot of bloody Final Fantasy games now. When the majority of these Final Fantasy games were big and were out, I was completely Nintendo. I never had a PlayStation, so I never got to play these, so hopefully I will get to play these now on a, on a Nintendo system. I know that you can sort of get them on the PlayStation, but to be fair, the majority of the stuff I play on the PlayStation is graphically a lot better than what you can get. But we'll see what happens. Other big games waiting to come. I mean, uh, the redo of The Witcher, which is nice. Uh, Destiny 2, The Forsaken, that's been out recently. I mean, props to PlayStation for giving that away for free for just the base Destiny. Uh, I've got to admit, it was the very first time I've ever played it. And I, I did get hooked. I mean, I've maxed out my character, one, one of them anyway. As I firstly found out, uh, you can keep playing with different characters and building them all up, which I might have to do. But we will see what happens with that. But yeah, uh, not brought the Forsaken yet because I don't know if it's actually worth paying a full price for another game when really I got one for free. Mm. A bit of a strange one, but there you go. And uh, what else have we been going on? What about new f movies and that that people are getting excited about? The Nun, never seen it myself yet, but apparently people are getting the, uh, the crap scared out of them for it, which I suppose is nice if you're into that sort of thing. Don't get me wrong, I do like the horror films, but we'll soon see. We've got Venom coming up, which I know a lot of people are excited about, including myself. I mean, to be fair, I expected anything which I'm hiding to be like a pretty boy sort of thing, but it does like, look like it's quite good and it's going to be quite comical, which is nice. Uh, Miss Marvel, sorry, not Miss Marvel, that's Camilla Khan, that's someone else. Captain Marvel, not to be confused with Captain Marvel coming soon as well, which I know a lot of people are excited for. And end of the year, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. That's looking like it's going to be a, a thing. Uh, I mean, we start off with Peter Parker in his 40s, I think it is. And Mild Morales and Spider-Gwen. And from the looks of it, a whole lot of other uh, Spider-People as well from across the multiverse. Now, as we just jump back into the game a minute here, I do notice that there is a few frame drops on this now. It may be because, like I said, this was a couple of minutes past ten when this was recorded, so it may have just been that, obviously, it was a server issue, first time, there was, as you can probably tell, a lot of a rush on for it. I mean, when I was trying to load this, it crashed my computer twice. Thank you. But now, I believe at the minute it's open to everything, it's open to PlayStation, Xbox, uh, PC. So hopefully now this is all up and running nicely. I mean, thankfully it looks like they're doing updates to it near enough every day, which is absolutely brilliant. I mean, it seems like they are listening to the people and getting stuff done. And doing those nice little tweaks ready for within the game's full release, which I'm so excited for, I can't tell you. But I've got to say, it, it does seem a little bit harder on this to actually get the level up. To actually rank up in your levels. But, I will say that it, it isn't, this isn't as, um, at the moment anyway, it isn't as 
full intensive of say Fortnite is. You can play a game of this, go back onto the multiplayer or onto another game, get bored of that, come back and have a few games of this, and it's all happy days, which is quite nice to be fair. So you haven't really got to think, oh god, I've got to grind and grind and grind and labour intensive just at this. And there is a bit of something in there for everyone. So yeah, another thing I want to talk about is, I do apologise, I've not been around very much. It's just that, as you probably, or as you probably don't know, unless you follow me on Twitter, Broadband TV have dropped me for, for what they said is a breach of YouTube copyright conditions. Which, what I did, I've partnered up with YouTube, joined the YouTube partner scheme, and all they did is just advise me of them and demonetized one of my highest viewed videos. So, I don't know what the problem was with Broadband TV just telling me what to do or requesting me, can you just not do this? Which was a bit weird, but there you go. And yeah, because of that now my channel is dwindling and dying out so unfortunately it's going to mean less and less videos because obviously less and less funding for it so if you do want to see more, me do more stuff then Christ help help a brother out get the watches in get the subs in get the views on the go without those I ain't going to be able to carry on doing it but we'll see what happens I mean I know a lot of people are really just in this for the competitions that I do but if I don't get the money in, can't do the competitions, can't do the competitions, can't get the views, can't get the views, can't get the money, can't get the money, can't do the competitions. It is a bit of a vicious and nasty cycle, I do know, but that's the way the world works. Without the money, the channel dies out. When the channel dies out, you won't be able to watch any great gameplay, which I do believe I do give. I mean, I know I'm not the best. But I definitely know I'm not the worst. And I do believe that I do give good quality content. But what can I say? That's that's just what I believe. I mean I've been told by the people that I can edit when I need to, when I want to, but that's for you lot to decide. I mean, I know this is gonna be a 20 minute video, but I thought I'd put my very first full game on there. But I digress. Right, so what I'll do, I will shut up now then, because I've said what I needed to, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Peace.
Right then, you beautiful people, as you can see, we are getting down to the last circle on Blackout now, and you'll finally get to see what actually happens on there. So, in summary, please like, share, subscribe. Get people to watch the video if you do want to see me create more content, or get more content onto the channel from other creators. And hopefully then, we will see you again soon with some more from Base Blade Gaming. Keep an eye out for the Spider-Man footage. Don't forget, I'm going to be doing a charity live stream when Black Ops is released for Macmillan, Char for Macmillan Cancer Trust. Don't, please don't forget to tune in. I will drop a, drop a link down below where you can go and donate. We ain't trying to raise a massive amount. We're just trying to get enough to help some people out. Cancer touches everyone. So please, please give. We'll see you soon. Much love. Peace.